Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today dad is starting on making the second stable. He's been putting some posts in and we need to go to the builder's merchant and get some concrete. So these are the posts that dad's put in and they need concrete in down and they're there just to support the boards that are going to run along them aren't they? That's it, your son was outside. Yeah, <clears throat> so those were already here, weren't they? So we didn't have to put them in last time, but... We did, and with the uprights. The yeah. uprights, yeah, yeah the big yeah. long ones. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we haven't got the wood yet to make the actual wall, but this... We'd let this go first. Yeah, get this in and let the concrete set. We can go and get the wood. Yeah. So we're not <clears throat> in a massive rush because Queenie's not quite cured yet, so we can't get the pony until we know she is but at least we can start on it so it's not a massive rush like last time. got the shavings and a bag of cement from the shop. I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> there we go. We're going to do that tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we go to, and then we're going to get the actual wood tomorrow that goes across mm. so we can just do it all in one go get it all done it's easier they've got all the wood where we just went so we'll go and get the trailer tomorrow do that get the wood i need to get some more horse food they didn't have any in there today so they run out but we'll go and get some somewhere else mm. but yeah hello queenie beanie hello darling Queenie's actually got a nice day today, haven't you? It's sunny a little bit and warm. Yes, darling. Yes. <laughs> that good girl. See, get out of the field. Come on. You're not allowed in there. Yeah, that horse is much bigger than you. She stands on you. You'll know it. So I... Uh, did a full clean out of Queenie's stable today and I've left it up to dry out because she had a huge wet patch in the back there as you can see where it's all where the um, pea has turned the sawdust red so yeah it needs to dry out a bit more before I can remake her bed with her new shavings but yeah Queenie's friend's new stable. So hopefully tomorrow it will be pretty much done. We need to get the digger in here at some point and scrape off the top of this mucky floor. And then we need to go and get maybe a, a couple of ton of stone to put down here so that it's not all muddy and horrible. And I also need to go um, to a shop there's one probably about it's probably about an hour's drive from here it's in a place called logesh and they sell pretty much all horsey stuff like um for stables and fencing and things like that i need to see if i can get hold of any more rubber matting for the floor i've got two left um but i need another two to cover the whole floor because if i uh, put her in there with just two rubber mats it's just going to be really really hard to clean so uh yeah i need to go and get that 
or see if I can find it at least so that um, when we get her, we can just pop out and get it. This rubber mat in here that we've got was from a friend um, of the family and she had a pony and stables at home and she's not using them anymore. So we got those for free, luckily. But yeah, we've got two more behind the hay bale there rolled up. They um, can go down once we've uh, gotten the other ones, but we still need to level out the floor a little bit because it's a bit more lumpy and bumpy in there than the one next door. Just need to kind of dig it around a bit and move some of the dirt from the front to the back and remove these wooden posts out of the way and then it's done. And then we'll have a new stable and hopefully, I'm hoping that I would say by the end of the month, maybe around the 20, 25th, 26th, something like that, we can go and get the new pony. Um, I just want to give Queenie one more dose of that stuff just to be 100% sure that she's been fully covered. And I can't give her that until Thursday. So that's in two days. And then I want to leave it another week. And then, yeah, she should be clear. But, um, yeah, I think just this itching now, it's got to just be from where she's had the mites on her for so long. The skin has just become really dry and scaly and which can be just itchy in itself anyway. So, yeah, I might have to get the vet out just to do another check. I'm not sure yet. There's <sighs> always something with horses. Yeah, so that is uh, it for today. It's a bit boring, I'm afraid, but um, this morning it took me about an hour and a half to clean out the stable. My dad was digging the holes next door and then we had to wait for the shops to reopen again after lunchtime at two o'clock. And now, yeah, we just don't have enough time really to get anything done. So we're going to start with a, a fresh tomorrow and get that stable started and then yeah, so we've got about a week and a half until the pony, the new pony comes, fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, it would just be nice not to have a massive rush getting everything done like we did last time. Stable walls tomorrow, stable door, I guess, in a couple of days. Dad can make that easily. It's just uh, some planks of wood all stuck together. We've already got all the hinges and the locks and everything. And again, it's just a little pony this time. So yeah. It will be a lot easier to look after. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll probably see you again tomorrow. <laughs>